Um, hello, everyone. I just got in from college, and then I went to Taco Bell. Then I came back home, not even like five minutes, like four minutes as soon as I sit down, watching YouTube, so, oh, soaking wet, just drying off. Jake's like, do you want to go jet it? Because what happened two nights ago was, um, as you know, it, it wasn't running. So that wasn't the problem. Turns out the, the big gash in the, uh, in the intake w was part of the problem. But it turns out there was also another problem where <laughs> there was a fucking vacuum leak in the fuel line. Uh, so something that there was just no, it, the fuel wasn't getting to it. So that's why I kept bogging. Not bogging, but it wouldn't want to fucking start. So we fixed that. Well, Leo's dad fixed it because big up Mark. He's the he's the mechanic. He's the real one who knows everything. Um, and yeah, the exhaust sounds really good. Um, uh, Jake gave me a new carburetor and a new Melossi air filter, which is just which is just here, Melossi air filter, which is very nice, I must say. And yeah, we're gonna go put this on. We're gonna go jet the thing so we can actually like romp on it a little bit have, actually have a bit of fun uh we was gonna jet it this weekend but jake was like i'm gonna go fucking do it now i was like yeah because at the moment i'm running around on a manual choke just flecked up all the time and have to keep throttling in it for idle because obviously he doesn't want to fucking idle because it's got the choke up and it's not jetted properly so yeah um see you at jake's hmm. So I am pushing it. Oh fuck, he dropped it. I'm pushing it up the hill, Jake's hill, because apparently I'm not allowed to ride it for the reasons he said he'll explain to me when I get here. And I'm here now. So, yeah, I can't do this with my hand. <laughs> Shit. Just say, Jake, this is the cleanest I've ever seen in your fucking garage. What did he say, mate? Oh, so you want to explain why I had to push it up the hill then? Right, so we're going to do some jetting on this. No, no, no. Explain why I had to push it up the fucking hill. Oh, because my neighbours are fucking cunts. Because <laughs> I piss them off with this thing. Things about... It, you could hear it, like, flat out on the other side of the fucking... On the other side of a hill, and you'd think it's idling next year. It's fucking loud. No. If you lot haven't seen it, check out... What's your tag? Uh, Piaggio Zip. 76. I'll put it in the description. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on screen. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're gonna fucking we're gonna jet this cunt now. Do some jetting, man. Because this thing. Oh yeah, and also today, walking past the bike, I'm yeah. just gonna explain to them what I did to my number plate for fuck's sake. But I was walking past like he's doing now, whacked Bosh. the cunt and it broke off. But I ordered a new one, which I'll put on screen now. Oh, shaking, know. shaking. We got the we got the techni gas on there. The the techni. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Right, uh, let's fucking jet this thing, man. Shall we open her up then, big boy? Yeah, boy. So we got the uh, all the shit off. Uh, I was th I was hoping we could put this bad boy on, but I think it's a bit too big. Unfortunately, she's too powerful. Yeah, she won't. She won't uh, be too powerful. Beat me, so yeah. I can't have that, you know. Yeah. So we've got a fifty-three. I'm pretty Ooh. sure fifty-three main. Is that stock? That is stock, my darling. That's a stock jet, What is the lowest we've got in here? Shall we have a look? The it looks Pellini. like a 60. Fuel through the roof. <sighs> Gonna go over a 60. Way. Might as well. Might as well. All right, we're gonna... We've just put a 60 in there, so... Yeah. Just put 60 in there. But we've got to run it up and down. We've got to go do it down there, which is annoying. We can't just quickly go run it up and down here. Because the old neighbours fucking kill me. Yep. We've already had ructions, so yeah, don't want to uh, start any more bad blood. So we're just going to check this in, quickly run it up and down, see if it's running all right. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, mate. All right, she's ready for a little rip, mate. Cheeky. <laughs> just put the 60 jet in there. We'll see how it does. Um, we'll go on. Might have to do a bit of fine tuning. Might have to up the idle jet. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, see. See. we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go do it down the fucking road. Cheeky. <laughs> yeah, go on. All right, basically, we run it up and down the street with the choke off. 
how it was before, and it's still bogging like how it was before. So idle jet time. Yeah, we got up, up the idle jet. Because it should run without a choke, but it's not. Yeah. That means she's suffocating. <laughs> All right. No we are. Uh, we've just took the restrictor because we thought fuck we'll test it without the uh, restrictor in the car. Seems a little bit better, but and it's it's a tiny bit better. It actually, I wants like to, you know, run a bit, but. We're still going to up the idle jet and uh, see how it goes. Yeah. Do you, you want to know how you tell you're in a luck ho household? You've got like a somewhat, somewhat brand new. Yeah. Would you say brand new? Somewhat brand new M46 Tulia. Just fucking sitting there on a skateboard on a Santa Cruz deck. Because just, it fucking fits on it, it and it's not falling. Look at it. I can't make it fall off. Hey, M46, do a kick, kick flip, bro. Cheeky. We also got the Mark One Escort here doing Pistol, which is his brother's car, Josh. But Josh keeps saying, I'm going to do it out one day. One day. Don't he? Mm. <laughs> Let's be real, Jake. Think it's going to get done? It will do eventually. Just not for like another couple of years. <laughs> in like, maybe in 2050. Ah, oh, we're fucking done now, boys. Cheeky. Everyone's dead. Wait, where'd I go? <laughs> what the lads go? Wait, where'd I go? <laughs> Well, I'm just going to whack a 42 in there because I can't find any other jets that are... Well, there's a 36, but I don't know if it'll be enough. So if we go too much, we'll know. Yeah. Because it starts spluttering. So easy cheesy. Yeah. Yeah, big shit. Fucking... Did you even take the air filter off this time? Oh, no. No. Because we had an airbox on last time, didn't we? So we had to yeah. take it off. And it's more effort. If it's not fucked, don't take it off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're gonna test it in with the jet. What jet's in it? Uh, 68 main and a 42 idle. All right, we're gonna go test these out. So yeah. Oh, watch out! Oh, 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 oh. Hey. oh I'm just gonna go this way. I can't go. No, oh, he's got. He's going for the maneuvers. The fucking 12.7. Oh. <laughs> that might be the jet. Fucking jet in, because he is bogging like a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what, 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 what jet we just chuck in there, Carl? We whacked a 78 in there because I thought go big or go home. And then uh, we'll just go down from that because we put we put all the way up to a 70 in there and it was still bogging. Yeah. I was like, fucking hell. So we're going to um, see. So we just fuck, like, fuck it, we just put a 78, see if the cunt splutters. Right, let me move Lenny's back for you. What? So. We have just put uh, the restrictor back on with the 78 jet in it. And yeah, we're gonna see how it's doing. Let's, come, let's consult Jake. Fucking, hell, in, fucking indication, bro. Basically, we, um, what did we do? We took the end of- I'm filming this in my kitchen because we forgot to add it at the end. Uh, cause Jake's phone kept dying and mine wouldn't charge before my phone's fucked. <laughs> um, basically, um, we fucked up trying to talk about it in the garage as you probably just heard. Brand new carbon. It's got, so if you, if you buy an exhaust and you want to know what the jetting size is, it's, it's with stock airbox, everything's stock. We I mean, it's- we <laughs> Oh, well I'm editing it now. It's a stock, fully stock Piaggio Zip 50cc from 2011. It's completely bog standard, nothing with it. Uh, stock airbox, stock everything. It's got a new carburetor which has a manual choke. I don't know if that factors into anything. I don't think it does, but just letting you know. It's, if you want to run a pipe on a fully stock Piaggio Zip 50cc with stock airbox and stock everything. We put a 78 main jet in there and a 42 idle jet. So it is running a little bit rich, so we might turn it down. But yeah, that's is pretty good. I mean, it, it it runs a little bit rich, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, if if you're doing the same as me, about 106 pound taking gas, cheap exhaust, cheap sports exhaust. Yeah, that's the that's the jetting I'm running. You might want to put like 76, 74, but yeah, uh, 78 is doing fine for now. So yeah, but it, it won't affect anything. Rich is fine. 
it's not lean, it's not gonna blow up, so, but the only thing, the only problem I've got with it being a bit rich is just a bit more fuel and, a, and it's gonna smell. <laughs> That's the only problem with it when I'm a bit rich, but yeah, there you go. Also, I just wanna add, uh, I did, I did film the number plate hold it install since in the first video I said I was gonna film it. I'm gonna put that in now. Uh, I'm gonna put a little, put a little time frame, time stamp of where the video ends. If you don't want to really want to watch it, it's only a little five minute clip. But yeah, if you do want to watch it, here it is now. <laughs> After we installed that exhaust yesterday, and I said at the end of the video, I said it's going to be a new license plate, and the license plate holder is coming tomorrow. Uh, yeah, let's just go and get it. <laughs> I think it's for the Dutch license plates. I don't know what else it would be for because that is fucking tiny. Look how small that. Is. I'll go get our. I'll go get a, my license plate. This is our license plate. This is like, this is pretty, this is actually pretty big to be fair for a uh, a British license plate, for a, for a square British license plate. It's so small. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some sort of like sticky tape or something. I'm getting a new license plate soon anyway, so I don't really give a shit about this piece of fucking shit. Look at it. Do some origami with it. So put it on like that put some sticky tape on the back of this and then just try and do that that won't look that bad but but yeah it might also go it might clear the engine cover so i can put it higher than that i don't know yet so that's why we gotta fucking do it and fuck i forgot my tools so essentially this plate is, is supposed to bolt up to here does that fit oh yes it fits so yeah it or oh, i can put it there there or there. Fuck, what do I do? And another thing that is annoying, I which I blame the last owner for. Oh, sorry, I only have two engine case bolts. So that's pretty fucked. But I do have these. Those fit? That's something that exhausted still yesterday. No, that won't fit. It's probably best I put it further out because then people will be able to see it more. And this will be out of the way of the shock. And when I go to slam down on it, it doesn't whack the fucking plate. So I'll probably put it here, actually. Another annoying thing is uh, I'm gonna take this whole thing off so I can actually put the bracket on for fuck's sake. So I gotta take it back off again. Bruh. All right, now I have the actual bracket on itself. Now it's time to put this on. I'm gonna try and adjust it. So yeah. So the uh, the brackets are on it, but there is a small problem. I kind of want it to be a bit more discreet, a bit more back. And I know I need to tape it on because you can't really see. But I kind of want it a bit more tilted like that, a bit more back, other than just like right here. I might take it off and put these two engine case bolts up another rung. So with putting it back just now, I can already see there's going to be a fat problem. Because what I like to do is a lot is go through traffic and split through because I'm a little shit. And also, where I live, every day I essentially have to do that. I fit that through that every day. So putting it further up, yes it might look cooler, but it's gonna be less efficient because look how wide I am now. So I have to put it back a bit so then I can move it in like that. And even then I'm still like poking out a bit, but it's not as bad. So yeah, I just remembered that I can um, move the frame. I can move the frame like that and keep this bracket on these two bolts here. So I can essentially just keep it further back by moving this thing here because look, as you can see, it's adjustable. So. Fuck. Well, I mean, at least I noticed before I put it back on these two here. So, so there you go. Um, 
It's on. With duct tape. But <laughs> it's on. I think it looks pretty good. I have to um, tilt it back a bit more. Gotta come forwards a bit. Because if I sit on it, obviously the springs are gonna decompress on it. And when I was adjusting it, the rear wheel was in the air, so there wasn't no so there was no need for me to uh, think about that. But now I've got it leaning up against the wall, so all the weight of the actual bike is on the spring, so I can actually properly adjust it. So yes, it's time to adjust it, and then we'll see the final product. But yeah, that's pretty good actually. Actually, well happy with that. That's pretty good. Do need to get a smaller plate though, because it does look a bit, a bit fucking goofy, and all the cracks and shit in it. So he's just gone on a little test ride. Told him to see how it feels going round. Here he comes. Wait. This fucking dopey prick, what you done? What you well, done? What you done? Oh, I was like, oh, I'll fill up your two stroke because obviously I've got loads of it. Yeah. I fucking brimmed it. All right. We, right, we might as well go through this ped because because people are going to ask about it in later future videos. Yeah, so this is my Piaggio Zip 2013. Oh, yeah? The SP panels, they're a bit battered from crashes. Yeah. <laughs> I got crashed into on the A217, which is like a dual carriageway over here. Yeah. Uh, we'll go through the stuff quickly. So we've got a broken, blacked out <laughs> lens, which is, yeah, a bit fucked. Um, That's also a bit fucked. Yeah. Blacked out, what well, I was tinted, sorry, um, lights. We've got a Leo Vince pipe with a Chinese fucking muffler, whatever, can. Because you lost some blew up. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've got a, <laughs> down there we've got a Stage 6, 21mm carb with a Ram air filter. Yeah. Uh, it's running 98 main and a 42 or 4 idle. Fucking hell. Also, we've got a uh, Molossi Clear fuel yeah. uh, float bowl. Down here we've got a straight eight performance jack up kit with a rebuilt shock. I service this. Oh yeah. So it's nice and loose like a prostitute. <laughs> uh, up here we've got a stage six throttle. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. And in here. Where am I looking? In here we've got a air sole seventy cc kit. Oh yeah. Cheeky new spark plug cap because my other one snapped. Blacked out front lenses. Oh, yeah. um, SP panels, new headlight bulb, my brighter one. Want to explain? People are going to ask about the tape. Uh, I got my bike got broken into here. <laughs> For some reason, they tried to break into here. There was fuck all there. Yeah. There was like a few bolts. <laughs> Just washers and shit. Yeah. Got SP grab handle. Oh yeah, better than my better fucking than mine. one. We've got a removable lock. <laughs> Eight nine. Shit. Ace, hey, so you know, that's dog shit there. Oh, fuck it. Oh, look it up, bro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get in? <laughs> 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 He's climbing the roof. <laughs> 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 <laughs>